Hello, everybody. It is Tuesday, September 14, 2021. I'm Bryce Castillo, your pre-show navigator. Hello. Welcome you into the great night pre-show and the green room. Hello, everybody. I am back. I am back from travel hell in the beautiful, the beautiful city of Tucson, Arizona. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Every time, there's... Every time I walk in, there's like a 10% chance I'm going to lean back on here and the back will be unlocked. And it's just, uh, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. But uh, I'm glad to be back. We've got the shows from from uh, from Monday already posted in the feed. So if you were going to... Uh, if you thought, well, when I woke up on Tuesday and my, my cord killer wasn't just quite ready. Well, I'm very sorry, <laughs> prospector who listens to podcasts. Uh, but uh, they're out now. So uh, then thank you to Corey who helped uh, uh, help fill in for me. Uh, that was a, uh, uh, a l- little bit of a tricky wicket for him, but uh, he really pulled it out. So uh, big, big congrats. Uh, big thank yous. Big thank yous really to one Corey Cranfell. Uh, G. James B. asks, what was the Cord Killer's title? Oh, yes. I think I don't know if they picked one. Uh, let me see. I'm going to go to cordkillers.com. That's the website where you can find the podcast. And it uh, looks like we would agitate the popcorn. Agitate the popcorn. Um, hello, everybody. So I'll uh, I'll talk about my trip and stuff a little bit after they do the green room. I gotta I gotta work on that game. We got uh, we got a great show coming up tonight. We got Jomo back. Jomo's gonna play a couple songs. Uh, we're back with the one and the only. You know it. You love it. That's right. We're gonna do the monster mash. That's Monster Match. Excuse me. Very specific. I, I strike the first one for the record. The monster. Oh, my goodness. All right, everybody. Well, uh, so stay, stay tuned for that and all sorts of other great stuff here. Uh, but in the meantime, we are going to take you now over to the great night green room. Green room, can you hear me? Hold Look, on. Bryce Hold is on. saying hi to us. Oh, Hello. Uh, green room. Wind and fire. What Earth, is up? Earth, Earth, Earth Wind and Bricer. <laughs> uh, hey, man, uh, thank you for starting the show. Yeah, uh, yep. real quick, Bryce, just to settle this, because <laughs> we were talking about it before you joined us. Mm. Uh, who would win in a fight, Earth, Wind, or Fire? Ooh, Earth, Wind, or Fire. I think it. I think it's going to be Wind, honestly. I think Wind outlasts everybody. What the fuck? Yeah. Wait, wait, wind? Wait, 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 what does wind do? Just uh, twirl around well, in a bunch how, of circles? It fuels, yeah. it fuels fires. I'll it say that. Fuel fire. yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean yeah. granted, wind and fire eventually form a coalition, but mm-hmm. Earth is like... I feel like I'm on up, Earth. Fire hey, runs oh, out. I'm sorry, do we live on planet wind? I've heard, yes, do we live yes, on literally, planet fire? yes, literally we do. <laughs> about, I would just no, I would argue... We live on planet Earth. I would argue that all of these things... Uh, lived in peace until the fire nation until the fire attack. nation attacked. So, yeah, right, all actually, right, uh, all right, all right. you're off. All you're right. off the hook. You're all off the right, hook. all right. <laughs> hey, uh, 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 Brett, you had an adventure in voice acting. Yes. Uh, uh, besides not finding my name in the credits on what? one of the Ava movies. During- really? Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm, that was that a happened. movie. You were in a movie. Yes. And then. At the end of the movie, they said, here are all the people who were in the movie. Kind of. And then there was a list of people. Yes. And you were not on that list. Yeah. But okay. but but next to the part you played, there was just a parenthetical fart sound. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is what it said. No, no. What happened was, uh, if you watch Amazon movies and you pause it, yeah. if you are, if whatever characters that are in the scene... They have an X-ray oh, that shows yeah. you. Yeah. Here are the people. Yes, 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 yes. So I was watching the second Ava movie yes. and uh, decided I needed to pause for something. And my character was on the screen, and it was someone else that they put. You are, oh. you are, you are aware that this is a level of actor vanity <laughs> that that is is unrecognizable to I've, most humans. I've got right? one more. Hey. I've got one more yeah. for you, except for this guy. I'm yeah. on your side. Yeah. Oh, I'm oh, 100% Brian, on your side. Brian, trust me. You have actor level vanity. Okay, yes. good. Okay, As a good. musician, right. I can also relate. Yes, yes. Yeah. And, I, and I'm both, so it yeah. makes it really bad. Yeah. So. <laughs> 
I, I am a, a part of Penfold Theater, which is yes. here in Austin, mm-hmm. and I've been with them for years and great guys. And right now, they're doing a show at one of the museums here on the front porch of this old house, and we're doing like radio plays on the front oh, porch. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. So they have three that are set up, and it's only one show every two weeks. Yeah. So it's right. these. So the first one was Macbeth, and I handle all the the equipment of getting it all set up. The Scottish right. radio play. Yes, the Scottish radio, but it wasn't in a theater, so we can call it Macbeth. Oh, it's is that it? Ah, Two gotcha. things: Scottish radio play, definitely credited appropriately on X-ray. Yes, very much. <laughs> yeah, very much. Yeah. So uh, written by <laughs> William Shakespeare. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bill Shaky Spare. <laughs> uh, so uh, I I'm been asked to help set up the equipment and i didn't really know when the show was going to happen until like a week before they said it's and these are radio plays that's my that's my jam yeah that's my that's That's right in your yeah my whole thing yeah and so i'm thinking we were Macbeth talking about this before you showed up i was like jomo i mean i don't know if you understand but like radio plays that's That's the same thing you're saying that's your that's my Bailiwick. Jam. That is my Bailiwick. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. So that's your Ballyhoo. I'm it's trying your, to figure out. Jomo originally was like, I got this song like, fuck radio people. Right. They're all stupid as hell. Yes. I hate them all. Yeah. The and only thing like, worse than radio do is radio plays. Yeah. Yeah. There yeah. You go. yeah. yeah. I do. Radio that. drama <laughs> sucks. Why they even call it drama? Fuck those guys. Right. Yeah. You heard it. it. I've heard You've the heard song. It. Yeah. It's kind yeah. of a hit. I actually yeah. sing it it's to on, the rest of the on, cast. It's on yeah. Spotify. It keeps us humble. Yeah. That's really what... It, so I'm thinking, well, they're doing Macbeth. It's a radio play. Why wasn't I asked to, to audition? Be in it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, even just audition. See, my ego's not so big that I'm like, you guys should have just automatically sure. cast me. I will go with but the audition. But in your head, you you yeah. know that you would have crushed it yes. if they would have. Yeah. Just Br- Br- crushed. Yeah. Real. So <laughs> outside that sure. idea here, is there a chance that they didn't know to ask you because when they hit pause on this show? <laughs> on Evangelion? Yes, on they Evangelion. were like, you didn't show it up. Showed like, someone is else Brett like, still yeah. alive? Brett's Hold on. Even. Let's go look up Evangelion <laughs> 2. I, let's pause I, it. Right? I, I, well, shit. I guess he might have died. That's the crazy thing about theater people. They have no object permanence. None I, I go away. At all. First yeah. of all, I genuinely <laughs> believe that last part. <laughs> <laughs> so I show up. I get everything set up. We get all the mics tested. And I'm like, well, where the hell's this cast? Because I don't even know who's in it. It, uh, going here comes the cast. It's all black female cast. Ah. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay, oh. okay. Oh. And, and I'm, and, but but not enough to go. Okay, that thing that just happened where all of us acted like we knew a thing. What was that thing that the, we all just knew? We all we all knew I, that they were I theming think, the cast. I, think, I see. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think it would have been inappropriate for you to be in that. And while and while well, while Brett is many things. He is not a black woman. I'm not a not, strong black woman. Not I've, a strong I've, black I've woman. Claimed yeah. to I've, one I've se- time, say that I've claimed to be one. I say that. You did? Yes. <laughs> was that when you were auditioning for 227? It was it was for a radio play and it all started with me going, <laughs> "Well, as a strong a black woman, let me say and that and then I was told to be quiet." So, and yeah. I was like, no, there's too much. I, I can't no. go further with that. I don't think you can. I don't think you can go further with that. Okay, so you suddenly realize that 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 um, y- you're you're being pushed out of of this production. I'm being well. No, I'm being repurposed for other things in the production. Mm. Yeah, because I set up the, the the I did all the mic testing. I got it all set up. You're like I on the crew, it. basically. But, but yeah. yeah, because you're on the team. Wow. Be- but well, yeah. I mean, wow. I, you I mean, did the smaller yet very significant work that needed to be let done. Let those assholes show up without mics and find out how that show's going to go. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Marla Gibbs, <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God, just Marla. Text Let us. me just tell you text something. Us. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, then there's somebody who programs the x ray into the thing. Yes. And say, so that guy's on the crew and he's just falling through the cracks yeah, and dropping the ball. Yeah. To- I mean, so it's important. Learn that motherfucker. Oh, there's probably a spreadsheet, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's like, just, it's, there's not a guy. Just there's no guy. Update uh, the spreadsheet. Yeah, someone needs to update the spreadsheet. I'm yeah. like, oh no, it's not. Oh, he's alive. This cast list is right. from the other cast list. Yes. Yeah. 
uh, so so you were you were you were uh, happy because uh, so you didn't you, you were, didn't protest not there because you're not a black woman. Well, I I was like I understood why I wasn't there. Asked. We go. Yeah. You but other like, than that, Mrs. Lincoln, how was the play? I'm saying it was quite good. <laughs> there I, we go. I stayed through the first half of it to make sure it was running. <laughs> And then I went home because my sister was there, and I had made red beans and rice. Oh. And so we enjoyed a delicious dinner. Well, that's nice. And they and I reached out to the the sound person that was there and said, "How did it go?" They go, "Smooth like butter." Thanks. Perfect. Good. Another show this weekend. If anybody's in, where town, is it again? It's at the Neil Cochran uh, Museum. Okay. Uh, by the university, and I think they're doing Vanity Fair this weekend. Oh. And I same will be cast? A, uh, no, different cast. Different cast. Uh, uh, the sound design that we this have. This one live. is all Filipino men. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I don't, that's the weird part. Uh, uh, and the foley that we do live foley. Oh, that's ah, fun. Yeah. That's cool. great. Yeah. Uh, well, you, everybody should go see that. Yeah. Do you? Do you? Where do you go to school to be a foley artist? And are you in demand these days? Because there's like. Pads with noises and stuff I like. Know, they, sure. they, I know. I know somebody. Is a workshop you could take. Really? Yeah. With Michael Winslow. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. One on one. It's all Michael. So no, Winslow. no bullshit. Uh, I'm friends with the Michael sister Winslow. of one of Lucasfilm's in-house Foley people. Really? Yeah. yeah. So. And it's like it's like it, it seems like it's it's an elite fraternity. Yeah. Of people who step on. Like cheese and yeah, record celery. It. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. And but if you're in, like, you're the guy. You're fucking with it. Yeah. You're like, like, like that's that is that's, like some shit for life. Like uh, you that, are stepping that job on would be, for the that rest job of your seems life. like it would be great, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you're just your job is to like make brains splatting against the wall. Sure. Sound right. How to how to do that? Uh, uh, our friend, Actually, our boy, our boy Rob Creckle. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean that. that way, but 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 Rob is up like some next level stuff where it's like he's he's he more does, supervising he, everything. He, he will crack yeah. thirty seven watermelons in order to figure out which one sounds the saddest. Yeah, <laughs> in, right. in yeah. order to convey like, oh, that's the sound of a watermelon cracking. It's really sad. That Sadness. might have been a father figure. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Monica Ballard is uh, a sound fully person who knows that well as and then the guy that's doing this show his name believe it or not is buzz moran huh. and buzz uh has known for that sounds like his, a children's show for his, his believe it or not it's yeah. buzz moran buzz moran like that yeah. we, we can sell that to fucking nick jr so today he, he he yeah he's a great guy. lying away <laughs> on a wing and a prayer no we can yeah we can get a cover of that song Believe it or not, it's, it's Buzz Moran. Buzz Moran. It's Buzz Moran. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so I had a, a frightening realization of how my brain is slowly turning to jello. Okay. <sighs> uh, I go to my 20th high school reunion. <laughs> Good time for it. Welcome. And uh, I, as people are arriving, technically I helped organize it, so I wanted to be there early. Where is your high school? Uh, South Florida. Okay. So we are on a at, a, at an outdoor bar in uh, downtown Fort Lauderdale. Okay. By the way, that is the first question the doctor asks to assess whether or not you have your Exactly. Models. Yeah. Where was your high school? <laughs> Where is your high school? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Where's your high school? Uh, and <laughs> people start president? showing up, and I realize very quickly that while I might half remember faces, I oh, am yeah. I am batting. Ofer oh, on yeah. names like I've got no shot like I don't remember half these people's faces yeah. and so yeah. like I'm meeting these people for the first time and then some of them know me uh -huh, so they're yeah. saying like Justin what's up and I'm like and you're like ah, 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 ah like yeah. you, you look great you <laughs> look great which actually definitely happened because apparently nobody shows up to the 20 year high school reunion if they are a total mess. They they are only showing up if they have a decent job and have yeah. stayed in decent shape. That's also true. A lot of OMG, look at you. Yeah, yeah. How many times has it been? Wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But thankfully, a f like someone who's my actual friend, who I didn't, to be totally honest, didn't remember graduated in my same class. Right. Uh, she showed up fairly early as well. At which point, I've never felt more. 
like a politician. Yeah. Because she was just like with me the entire time, just kind of like whispering into my ear. Like, <laughs> like, 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 hey. Like, oh, her name is Robin. Like, in high school, she had a, a pixie haircut. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, Robin, your hair looks fucking great. Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah. But I, I was, I was. Uh, immediately, I was like, "Wow! I somebody should have really thought to have name tags because oh yeah, uh, that would have been a much 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 better way to go Man, about it. If only you were like on the team that could decide <laughs> these things. Exactly, yeah. I fucking organized Choose it, and then I flew across the country to go fucking uh, see it. Uh, big fuck up by me, and uh, 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 I have another twenty years to rectify it. I had a twenty year reunion one time, and I, I thought it was different from the ten. Because I had a 10, and everybody was, like, jockeying to, like, look cool or be impressive. Yeah. And by 20, everybody's like, what was that, man? They're yeah, just this, like, everybody was like, what we're is. cool. Like, I don't remember who you are, but, like, we probably hated each other. I don't know, but let's let's have a beer or yeah. whatever. Yeah. It was kind of like, it was better for it me. Was, it was a vibe. Like, people definitely, like, enjoyed seeing each other yeah. and enjoyed bullshitting and enjoyed talking about the people that weren't there. Uh, yeah. But... Yeah, other, otherwise, I don't know. But you're I, not going to do it every I felt, weekend. I felt very, very um, brain frail to like, just like be amongst a sea of total fucking strangers. That's 20 years, though. I mean, that's to, to remember names of people 20 years ago. That's, yeah, you, nobody does I that. Ended up, it's unfair. For, it's for my unfair. All right, so I, for my 25th, really, there was like out of 720 was in my class. There were six people that yeah. I really wanted to see, and I saw five of them. And I said, for the next one, why don't we just go have dinner someplace? The five yeah. of us. Yeah. Just go have dinner someplace. Yeah. And that would, then That's I'm not better. having to be in the, the Hollywood Hotel. What is it? I don't uh, know. Rock, no, rock, the rock and roll one. What is it? Hard Rock. The Hard, hard Rock, rock Cafe. Yeah. Tulsa. Like, okay. Nah, no, Hard like Rock. You're a creepy dude where you're like, hey, come on out and hang out with me. We used to go to school that's together. That's a that's a classic creepy dude move. <laughs> no, I'm talking <laughs> about we at the end of the thing that we were all getting along so well and happy Ooh, to see each other. Doubling I mean, down. we fucked, but <laughs> you know, there sure. was. <laughs> all right, let me ask you guys something. That I've been catching shit for in my in my local friends, my Florida friends group chat. Okay. So I went the next day and hung out with them, and they asked me, "Oh, so apparently there was like this." There's this girl in school that in school was like known as being very, very attractive, like prettiest girl in school. Right. And so they asked me at dinner, oh, was uh, and I won't say her full name, but was Jordan there? Yeah. Jordan right? Peterson. She, exactly. Yes. <laughs> was Jordan Peterson there? Yes. Uh, and I was like, Ooh, I have me, no. Jordan Peterson. <laughs> I was like, Ooh, I have. <laughs> I'm looking good. Anybody want to say anything? <laughs> it's me, Jordan Peterson. That was definitely the ten year reunion. Wow. <laughs> uh, so I was like, uh, uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think she was there. Ooh. Then all of a sudden, pictures hit Facebook today, and they're gish, like, gish, gish, they're gish, sending gish, me gish. pictures that I took with her. Oh no! Uh, and they're ah. like, oh, what the fuck, man? Why were you hiding? Like, blah, blah, blah. like, 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 why were you hiding the fact that you were there with Jordan and blah, blah, blah? And I'm like, to be totally honest, boys, I don't remember much from high school. I certainly don't remember who the hottest girl in school was. Like, I, I, I just totally blanked. And then I just catch shit for the rest of the time. Like, fuck you, you're lying. You would always remember the oh. hottest girl in your high school. Well, so am I? I'm, I'm coming here to an impartial jury. Yeah. Like, like, and is, we are. We are totally impartial. Oh, yeah. we couldn't be impartial. more impartial. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, I can go either way. Uh, yeah. On most things. Right. So <laughs> that's so <laughs> impartial, dude. Yeah. I'm so glad you flexed on your impartiality, <laughs> dude. I'm probably even more impartial than you. I'm, wow. I'm, people say I'm humble as well. Like, I'm yeah, badass. Exactly. Guy. You know what? <laughs> Fuck, dude. There's <laughs> nobody who's more humble than you. You're me. seeming very partial toward each other right now. <laughs> Should we change minds? Let's change. <laughs> I have a question. I have a follow-up question. Yeah. Um, this sounds um, partial, maybe, but was she attractive in present state? It depends. Is your name Glenn Beck? <laughs> uh, she was a very attractive 
38 to 39 year old yeah woman so in other words my 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 reasoning is she hasn't it hasn't it's not like a oh i didn't recognize her she's a different she's taking on a different form she's still very attractive uh uh but obviously, especially if you're somebody who's out on the beach all the time, there's, yeah, there's, sure. there's a little it bit of wear and tear. I mean, you don't, yeah, yeah. Like, like in, in your late 30s. A little bit of yeah. Sand, yeah, no. sand damage starting yeah. to happen. Yeah. We don't, I, I mean, yeah, I understand aging. I just, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Because that makes a difference. So how do you feel about it now? Do I think, what's, what's the question? Are you an asshole for not no, remembering yeah, her? It, is it totally implausible? Because what I was hit with in my group chat was that it's totally implausible that at the age of 38 that you wouldn't remember the hottest girl in school, in high school. Which, like, now the other side of this coin is like, I certainly remember every movie I fucking saw in high school. Sure. I remember every song I loved in high school. I remember every uh, uh, random ass wrestling pay per view I watched in high school. So it's like, I do, I do vividly remember a lot of shit. From How high many school. people were in your class? A lot. A lot. A lot. So then, yeah, it's fine. It's but plausible. everybody that I've talked to to bitch about this in the intervening time since this happened and I showed up here, whenever I was like, I can't believe they're giving me shit about not remembering Jordan. Uh, uh, they're like, well, yeah, she was the fucking hottest girl in school. Like, what are you, an idiot? Like, how do you not remember Jordan? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so, Well, the question is, really the question when it comes to that is, did you have a shot oh, at that time? In high school? Yes. Mm-hmm. I was a part of the Renaissance Recreation Society. No, uh, the so no, is absolutely no. So then, no. When, when it becomes that, like the most attractive yeah. person may be the most attractive person. Yeah. But if you don't really have a shot with them, then it doesn't become something that you. But get but I think this. Stuck no, on. but no, but this is more of the fact that like there are certain kids in school that are like celebrities, right? Like they're sure. like, they're like the first like celebrities, quote unquote, that you like know. Like when you're at that age, that you're like bonding to certain things or people yeah there are like class celebrities yeah so but i guess i didn't really think of her as that enough to to make me remember. but i sort of agree because if you if there's let's take the celebrity thing if there's a celebrity here there's if you see celebrities on the street which you know you run into them and usually i would say they're more attractive than the average human being yes because it takes a lot of attractiveness to be a on celebrity. tv yeah. a yeah. celebrity but you watch them on t- you don't think every you're not you don't memorize every attractive celebrities. Like if they're if they're in that world, you they're not on your radar. Yeah. Now, now to be fair, I remember like every girl that I dated for like twelve hours. Yeah, like, like in yeah, because you had because you you That's cared it. about it. But yeah. that, I think I would really be a sociopath if I forgot them. Yeah, like, well for sure. But, uh, well, I can say that I've forgotten <laughs> some girlfriends. God damn! To hold where on. I'm like, no, I don't remember her name. <laughs> what a coxman! Hey. <laughs> How many girls did you guys date in high school? Total number. In high school. Yeah. Three. Uh, about three. Yeah, three, three is where I'm at. Three. Yeah. I, think. I mean, there were some that were like, like, we like. You hang know, out for a couple. Hang out, and yeah. then we're like, oh, are we dating? And then it's like within 72 hours, it's like, hey, I don't think this is a thing. Like, so yeah. I, don't know, I don't know where that counts. Like, I don't know if I get like partial credit or like it, like it needs to go like like past like an expiration date I think a, when you can I think, return some I think a, yeah I think three weeks or a month maybe three weeks okay yeah uh, in that case <laughs> I would say 45 yeah, <laughs> yeah nowhere <laughs> north of 70 uh, <laughs> wait so what was your sorry what was your what was your number <sighs> fuck all right let me no, because if I do, I'll just start naming actual <laughs> names. Um, hey, I cut myself in high school. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. <laughs> just to see your if you choice. St- just to see if you still feel. Is that what yeah, you did? It, it was exactly that. It was <laughs> like I, I, I took. This a is piece a for real mistake. conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. I, I'm just offering you an off ramp because sure, you seem no, 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 no. Yeah, <laughs> so that's what I'm going to take us to a much you. more comfortable yeah. let's, let's. territory of of me taking a staple and and sketching my name on my 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 wrist. Sure. Yeah. That okay. seems like a cool thing to do when you're in high school. It's fucking dope. I was so yeah. cool. Yeah, I wasn't. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I mean, I, there's really but I mean nothing more to the story. That's all there is. is <laughs> it's is okay. Like, I was passing out religious tracts at the same age. For reals? So, yes, for reals. 
when you say chick tracks, tracks, chick tracks. When you say tracks, go on. What like does that mean? Religious tracks. What's a track? Documents Wait, that you don't know? tell you that you're oh. going yeah, to I hell. Feel, I feel I like shit just got real honest is. and real like heavy. Like a pamphlet. I'm real proud. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. People, <laughs> they, they used to they, right they used to call uh, the cartoon ones chick tracks. Well, because the same Jack guy Chick, who yeah. drew who, them, yeah, who created them. Like, oh. like yeah. the famous. Like if you ever like a like a like a gas station. Like people love them and hate them at the same time. They're the best. Yeah. They are the best. Yeah. Because like like the like the devil shit that happens is like over the top over the top <laughs> great yes okay That's, and it always when the evil person laughs it's ho 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 yeah also i do remember there was one chick track that was like really i think artistically brilliant it was like somebody that was it was about the evils of killing yourself and uh the person that killed themselves like is hanging themselves and there was like three panels and it was one of them up about to do it another it was four panels i guess uh, them kicking the thing out. It's all the same thing. Then one of them falling, and so now like their neck is kind of like at the lower end of the frame in the noose. And then the fourth is them like continuing to fall into hell. Yeah. And it was wow. like that's actually fucking like that's really that's brilliant. Good. That's like, good marketing. Artistically, that's like an amazing way to conceptualize uh, uh, suicide. So there's so there's a famous artist or Jack writer. Chick. yeah. Th- this guy's known for making these religious, religious oh, yes. pamphlets. Yes. Oh, now, yes. now, keep in mind, in a pre-internet era, it was difficult to uh, disseminate your, your message. Right. So the way he would do it would be by having these mass-produced uh, 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 little booklets that he would leave at pay phones of all things right and, 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 ah. and people would find them and then we like, would you know the churches the that i was dungeons and dragons the, yes the, sure. the, the yeah. churches that i i uh was involved with had youth groups that we would go and that was your activity that would be, for the... i did it really just once i was 16 and i was in this little town passing it out and i'm going Re- what do i know why if, why would anybody take one of these from a 16-year-old kid who knows absolutely nothing? Like, who am I to judge whether Well, you let Chick do the ahead? talking. You let well, Chick I do the talking. <laughs> but, but I will tell you that in the middle, like, that was my big conflict where, where I just went, I can't do, this is not right. This yeah. doesn't feel right at all. Interesting. And my dad's a minister, so. I think when I was in high school, I was a complete idiot. Like I would have, I would. Oh, we're hate, all I would have hate bold me. Take, <laughs> bold take to to to, to feel. Like all right, what know. was what was like? Uh, give me give me I the average the no, average day no. of of young Jomo. No, I couldn't even, man. I couldn't even. Uh, no. <laughs> Whoa. No, you know exactly no, what you it got is. A top three. You know Come exactly on. what it is. No, it's too dark and uh, it's too dark I mean, and and. He uh, fucking committed to cut himself. himself. Come on. Yeah. No, I just. I don't. I'd say more scratching. I mean, it was with a. <laughs> I, I scratched myself <laughs> today because I had an itch. Hey, I couldn't think of anything better, so I wrote my own name. And I'm like, yeah, that's right. I'm cool. I, I for um, um, uh, maybe a year or maybe two years, I had uh, some yellow shoes. Yeah, They were yellow uh, because our team's colors were gold and black, and I g- found some gold, very sure. loud the shoes. Tigers. They must have been the. They tigers. were no, they were bulldogs. The bulldogs, okay. Nice. And um, I w- I wore those as like my thing. Yeah. And I was like, you were yellow sure. shoe guy. I was like, but check out my yellow shoes. Okay. Yeah. So and everybody what? was. But the crazy thing was, everybody was like. Fuck yeah, badass. We're in. God, like, so you're you're yellow, badass. I love that we do therapy every y- Tuesday. Y- yellow yeah. yellow yeah. shoes, spiked hair even then? Uh, no. no. Uh, yeah. Well, yes, what was what yes. was the bold uh, uh, dress well, move that uh, you did? Uh, the, uh, yeah. uh, it, it, it was everything was was cut short on the left and, sure. then, and then folded over. Okay, a little flock so, of seagulls. So, 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 yeah, little bit of flock uh, of seagulls. Spiky, 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 fold sure. over. Yeah. Were, okay. you kinda, were you kind of goth? Did you have like... Did you have no? Or you, I, would I, you punk I, more punk. I, 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 punk. I would wear nice shirts because I was like, I don't want everyone to think I'm golf. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, So yeah, hedged a little. Your, what was your bold? Oh no, no, no! I, I was. Uh, 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 imagine the uh, uh, shy kid in the back of an independent wrestling uh, promotion, and that's me. Okay, that's huh. exactly. So like skinny, wearing uh, uh, very loose-fitting clothing. I never went full Jenko, but it was certainly 
uh, a, a little bit. I mean, I was very into yeah, hip Relax, music. fit. Uncle Time. Iroh has just entered the <laughs> arena. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> so there we go. What's going on? I had a uh, a black shirt with a white mandarin, uh, oh. old mandarin collar, oh mm. uh, with a uh, a skinny a skinny tie. A bo- bolo Ooh. tie? Uh, no, no, but just bolo. a skinny Say, no. say, say, a bolo. It was not bolo. a bolo tie. <laughs> bolo. No, he was a drama bolo. kid, right? It, it was a skinny tie with piano keys. Of course, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. And I had an Everlast uh, sweatshirt with the cut off sleeves mm. that I wore. And I would occasionally wear a black hat with a white ring around that because I was in marching band. This oh, is band that, kid and drama kid band, or just band Band kid? drama choir. I was oh, all three. Oh, all of them. I was so all of those. All the extra wow. personalities yes. rolled into one. <laughs> into one little like nerd Voltron. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so, the out- I can't even imagine this outfit you're describing. It's uh, very, it was, it's very uh, hodgepodge. Yeah, but and, it's and, unique. And, yes, and black uh, Chuck Taylors. Black Chuck Taylors. It's actually pretty. I cool. mean, that actually that's that, pretty. That, good. that endured. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, turns out, turns out. Isn't it weird that. how that's the thing? Like Chuck Taylors are like you can still wear them and they're yeah. still like and, fine and they're still uncomfortable and they fall apart. Right. And yet, yep. Now we're paying sixty. No, 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 wait, no. Have you got them recently? I need to. I need since, to since Nike uh, uh, Nike redid all the bottoms, so now they're all Nike bottoms. Uh, uh, yeah. So they're actually not terrible now. Okay. Yeah. More. I call them my ninja shoes because you could be real quiet in them. Yeah. Yeah. That's what but, somebody with dr- that dress would call them. Everybody so else. Wait like, a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're, we're not getting away from yellow shoes. <laughs> yes, yeah. Let's yellow get back shoes. To you. you want more information? And you are, and you are like, like, kind of badass. Are you like, like, a, a big man on campus there in high school? Um, I would. I had a lot of friends who were that. So okay. I was, I was like, you friends, were in, in. I was with in the with, clay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I had like a, I had a, I was not. Um, I had like a Boston Celtics shirt that was, um, what do you call it, embroidered. Oh, yeah. And it just kept getting holes in it. And I was like, that's my thing. That's my other thing. Yeah. Like, I'm going to have a shirt with it. And everybody's holes. like, there's holes in your shirt, man. You better fix it. And I'm like, I'm so fuck holes crazy. Yeah. I don't like, look at my yellow shit. shit. Look at my look, yellow you shoes. You think a guy with yellow yeah. shoes would fix, would that's get a right. new shirt or quit wearing one just because it's gross? That's what happens when Larry Bird's always hanging around. I'm crazy you. like that. Yeah. Pecking at your. <laughs> yeah. I, that's, that's the kind of crazy shit I would do. So were you into music then? Yeah. I was into, uh, I. Uh, yeah, I was in. A, I was in. I went into a small school, so there were like, when I was growing up, there were like, fifty people in my class. Okay. So I did everything. I played uh, football and basketball gotcha. and sure. band and and theater. Like, when did you do anything? When did you do your academics? I don't know. I, don't I was remember. bad at academics. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, it's like, I don't know. I didn't do that. Uh, uh, elementary school, <laughs> middle school, did did uh, handbells and ah, uh, sure. JV basketball. Yes, being all of four foot eight. Yeah, sure. I mean, that was kind of a cool thing about a small school is I could do everything and I was bad at it all and I was on all the teams. Yeah. yeah. It was like, they're and, like, and, they're and, like and, and there was probably less stigma of like, oh, you're a. Like, no, there was no. Yeah, there was none like, of that. Nobody's fucking doing anything. No, because no, the like, guy, because there's got football players marching at halftime in their, in their yep. uniforms because it's like, well, that guy's pretty good at the sacks. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, there wasn't like there. There were definitely like I would say there were like extremists. There were the guys that only played football. There were the band get kids that only did band. But it was like you pretty much had to be just that one thing. Anybody who did anything outside was like your filler. Yeah, it was. It was not your your, your background. So there there had to be some purists that actually were great at or or superior to the rest at what they. Yeah. How many people in the entire school at this point? At my school, growing up, uh. Well, high school would be like 400. It's like, or no, 200. So that's what, 3A? 2A. 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 All right. I graduated from a little bigger uh, school, from a 3A school. So we had like 100 people in there. The high school will tell you what the level of. And so then that way certain size schools will only play those same size schools. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. So 2A, 3A, 4A, 5A. And now I think they have six. Six and seven, I think. Really? Oh, yeah. Damn. I mean, we were five. we were a five A school in Broken Arrow, and that was because we I mean seven hundred twenty four in my senior class. That's a lot. And but but it was just juniors and seniors in that high school. Uh, we had intermediate wow. that was ninth and tenth. Oh, yeah, it was crazy. Damn. 
Wait, is that a nationwide thing or is no, that just that in was, Texas? That was Oklahoma. Or Oklahoma. Yeah. No, the five A, six A thing. No, no, that's pretty nationwide. Is that nationwide? I don't know. Yeah. I never. I never. I never knew. I mean, I, I knew it was Texas and Oklahoma. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you didn't have that. I, we might have. I. Yeah. I it, it certainly wasn't something. Yours would have been a fi- was as big as they get. It the was big a school. large. Yeah. I mean, I, if I remember correctly, it was probably like eight hundred in my in my graduating class. So, yeah. Uh, so, but I. I it was certainly like its own little town. Yeah, like, right. Like, which is odd because like when I was growing up, I didn't know any different. Like I'd always gone to apparently big schools, but I thought Fort Lauderdale was a small town. Wow. Because it wasn't like oh, New yeah. York or L.A. or, or any yeah. of these things that people talk about on television shows. Nobody makes a television show about Fort Lauderdale. I guess I'd written off the Golden Girls, but like. Uh, <laughs> so, Which is a great show. Yes, it, amazing show. Way. Uh, hey, thank you for being a friend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, it wasn't until I went to Syracuse, which in itself is not like a tiny town. Yeah. And I was like, wait a minute, there's only two movie theaters? Like, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah. That I realized, like, oh, no, wait. I actually went to And I, I remember looking it up and seeing that I was like, like Fort Lauderdale, Miami. It's like the, the 12th largest media market left in the country. <laughs> right. And I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, I'm, oh. I'm, I'm a city mouse. <laughs> I, I'm the opposite. I moved to Brenham, Texas. There's like 15,000 oh, yeah, yeah. people. Love Brenham. And I said, this is amazing. There's a movie theater in the town I live in. This is and amazing. Yeah. I was there all the here. time by yeah. myself. And an yeah. ice cream yeah, and an ice and factory, a factory, and a listeria factory, and a listeria factory. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I, I I sent over to Bryce a, a link to a thing. I, I don't know if we want to go out on this or not, but um, a, a, a thousand people got together in uh, Italy, and they just wanted uh, the Foo Fighters to come play in <laughs> Italy. So it's like. Why don't we, marching band style, get 1,000 people to play a Foo Fighters song? Is and, this new? Uh, no, it's old. It's old. Oh, uh, I, I, I think I remember when this happened. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I hadn't seen it until just now. Uh, but uh, 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 Ground Control Bryce, are you able to see it? Yep. Give me a second. All right. <laughs> right on. Um, One second. Oh, there we go. Thousand people. Like, like they need that guy to be uh, directing. I mean, somebody has to direct. I also, love the Italian accent. That's great. <laughs> also, nobody's representing Tenacious D in this, uh, uh, hiding the drugs in the coffee oh, maker <laughs> from <Yeah>. the video. <laughs> They should be cosplaying people yeah, in the video. <laughs> exactly, right? This reminds me a little bit of that thing that um, people do when there's a bunch of famous people on a stage. And they, like at the end of the concert, there's been a bunch of people, they, they're like, everybody come out. And there's like 40 guys sharing a mic. Yeah. It's the worst. Yeah. Right? I hate that. God, I can't wait to do that. Yeah. I hate that. <laughs> well, it's this COVID's over. We're gonna wait, what? What? So, what's your take on when they do the like Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and they do like the big like super jam at I, the end? I, I mean, that's. It depends. Yeah, it can be cool. Have you seen when Prince just yes. throws his that guitar? Was the best. That was destroyed. Yeah. That Although, was... apparently, the, the best part about the, that clip is I was reading like backstory about that day. Okay. That everybody and specifically Tom Petty was very annoyed that everybody else was showing all these other major rock stars were showing up for rehearsal like working and through Prince it wasn't right and this Prince... is specifically for the performance of while my guitar yes. gently we yeah exactly yes. yeah to george and especially because yeah. like harrison's kid was yeah. playing in the band and everything and so tom petty was very upset that like prince was disrespecting yeah this was supposed to be a very very special thing uh and uh and then prince shows up and just Destroyed, like yeah. just yeah. obliterates think- the world. But he's doing it right in Petty's face, yeah. and yeah. so like, like you can see there's <laughs> moments where he's like right in Petty's yes. face, and he's fucking yeah. like, like doing this like crazy solo. And Petty just has this look on his face, like, like "All right, motherfucker, whatever." Like, like I get yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a dick move. But it was a big dick move. I mean, so. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess I mean the, the, it's one of those lessons of like. uh that's why he's Prince. Yeah. yeah. And I get it why rock stars are like, 
all right, whatever. Like, you're fucking Prince. I'm fucking Tom Petty. Yeah. Like, who gives a shit? We all got to show up to just make yeah. sure that all the guitars plug in, right? Yeah. yeah. And then he just shows up and wrecks it, and you're like, oh, I, I get it. That's okay. why you're fucking yeah, Prince. Sure. Yeah. Sure. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's fine. I had to go down a rabbit hole when he, you know, because he tosses his guitar up, and it just never, comes, never comes down, comes and he down. just leaves. You seen that? Oh, wait, it, at uh, the end, that, that song. Yeah. Oh, yeah. At the end, he's he just throws his he's guitar kind of, up in the air I, and it never comes I, back. Down. I always just assumed it went somewhere. It, off camera. it did. It yeah. went into the audience. There was a guy braced to catch to catch the guitar who was like, and apparently it was like a his special guitar that was like, don't yeah. drop it or you're dead. You're dead. But you know, he's it's like some dude that that's his only job. Is but he, I had <laughs> he's can, just like one of like the kids who's in center field during the home run derby. Yes. And yeah, he's yeah. The whole time, like, like oh god, yeah. here we go. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, yeah, no, that that's pretty good. It would, if they do a good, if they do like a, one of those jam, all star jams, but, but it's like the they can the actually why we do. We all have the same story. Is probably an indictment on the fact that they're never really all that good. It's like that one that everybody yeah. likes. Yeah, everyone likes that one where Prince pissed off Tom Petty. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because do you want to hear while while my guitar gently weeps, like just for like twelve hours of a bunch of old dudes just jamming out like yeah what's in it what's in it for the I mean, casual because, viewer because if that's what you want just give us a call we can make that happen <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, it's and, available and money yeah dude imagine if like I, i'm sure the grateful dead's probably in the rock and roll hall of fame but i don't know if they were doing this shit at that point like if they did that like oh that, that jam's gonna go for three days yeah, yeah. it's gonna like, it's gonna keep going <laughs> or fish or fish, fish oh yeah. my god yeah, yeah. if fish ever goes into the, uh, the the rock and roll hall of fame it's just gonna be like it'll still be happening years yeah. later yeah. yeah oh yeah and it never ends. yeah it, it'll end the night before the next rock and roll hall of fame <laughs> like sorry guys we gotta we, we gotta, gotta cut you this up. we gotta cut you off man <laughs> fish is up next all right speaking of cutting it off uh ground control ground control can you hear us yep, yep. all right uh, i i think we're gonna wrap it up sir okay <laughs> Are you gonna say goodbye? Say or? goodbye. Yes, <laughs> we'll see you in a few minutes. Right. Like, it's, like, it's like that line. We need to from, figure from out his handoff. <laughs> yes. well, yeah. Also, it's like that Rick and Morty line where he's like, "I'm leaving." Okay, that was always allowed. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you, Green Room. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Beautiful people. We'll see you in space. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the to the Great Night Pre. Uh, pre-show in green room. Hello, everybody. Still Bryce because you here. Uh, whew. I uh, oh, I needed that time. Oh, I needed that time. I've got I've got all of our stuff set up. I'm, I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do some. We got we got we got some stuff cooking up. I got some stuff. We got the monster match coming up here. I got my seat in. If, any, if anybody uh, ends up sitting here, hello everybody. Welcome back. So yeah, I uh, I I just got back from um from a little bit of vacation and uh, well, I'll talk about that. I think we uh, I'll talk about that just a little bit in during the show. So I won't spend too. Oh, we got to do birthday borners. That's right. Hello, everybody. Thanks so much for sending in your birthday borners here to our Discord, discord.greatnight.tv. One more time, discord.greatnight.tv. This is where you can get shout outs for you or your loved ones for birthdays that, they've had, that you guys have had uh, over the past week or so. Yeah, and we're loose. We're loose for about it. Uh, but here are some of the ones that y'all have posted, like Captain Jack, whose birthday is this week, the week of the 13th. Happy birthday, Captain Jack. Uh, El Condor Pasa's birthday is uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, September 15th. Happy birthday, El Condor Pasa. Uh, Boxing Octopus uh, is turning the big 4 Oh Wow, 40th birthday, September 25. Thank you so much for joining us, Bo Boxing Octopus. Uh, Fearless Freep's birthday is uh, was yesterday, Monday, the 13th. Happy birthday. Of course, Anthony Carboni is today. Uh, Sign's birthday was today. He's 36. Happy birthday, Sign. Um, and Theater Monkey, Theater Monkey's girlfriend Alice, has her birthday on the 20th. Happy birthday to Theater Monkey's girlfriend Alice. And we got one more coming in. We'll, we'll keep an eye out if that actually comes through or not. Um, yeah, hey, I thank you everybody for spending spending your Tuesdays with us. Oh my goodness. I, uh, oh, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, oh, oh. You know, you would think, you would think doing nothing for 12 hours couldn't wouldn't be stressful right like if i was just sitting around all day watching tv and movies or listening to music for 12 hours you'd be like oh man i had a nice relaxing day i kind of didn't i didn't do much it was just it was just me just doing me me doing me but not in the airport 
not in an airport, not traveling. I think part of it was that my travel time ended up being, a, being about twice as long as it was supposed to be. Oh, but I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be back on the ground. I'm glad to be back home. But I had a great trip. We'll talk a little bit about it on the show. Um, but uh, uh, but it was fun. I went and got I went uh, things that I won't talk about on the show. I went and saw uh, these cool. Oh, I should have put this online thing where I don't have anywhere to show it. But we went and saw uh, these petroglyphs. They're like thousand year old rock uh, uh, drawings. They're drawings on this big rock face. And it was like a. It was like what. Um, a mile, mile and a half, uh, out, out to, out to go see it. Um, but that was a lot of fun. It was, uh, we did it in early in the morning before it got all hot. It gets, it does get hot. I mean, like, it gets hot in Texas too. I don't know. There's like an oppressive distance to the heat over in Arizona. Uh, but, uh, but I don't know. I like, I like, the, I like the Biocasa. So it's old graffiti. I, I guess so. I guess technically cave paintings are, uh, paintings are graffiti graffito graffiti 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 there you if you want okay uh uh i've never heard of is that wait is that a pun what is that what is that pun? scruffy scrafito i don't know scrafi I learned it's it that's gravito. Gravito. No, I learned it from watching the uh, the. Oh gosh, it's not the British Pie Bake Off. It's pottery. It's a pottery competition show. Oh really? <laughs> and they do scraviti, which is basically like carving. Like they slather a bunch of clay on and then carve out in like a relief or something. Uh. Yeah. Oh, that's it cool. It is pretty cool. Uh, I, I don't know if that's what those paintings really are. Yeah. I um I I think uh, a a form of that or a similar uh, technique would be cuneiform. Um, where, that is, um, where you're carving out the, the negative space. The cuneiform is actually uh, Egyptian text. It's one of the oh. earliest types of texts, um, that we've found as humanity. And they're actually yeah. like little triangles. Oh, right, right. No, what am I thinking of? But there, um, maybe it is just graffiti, but there, there is a, there is a thing for the technique where you are doing, where you're carving out the negative space in, uh, in, in a piece, but that may be different. Yeah, that may like be different enough where it's specifically the negative space. Yeah. Uh, cause you, no, I should know that. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see if anyone in the chat remembers. Um, hello, Annalisa. Oh, my, oh, I just saw my hair. Oh yeah, you got your uh, hair dyed. I did get my hair she dyed. She dyed it. It looks great, by the way. It's a, it's a little wild cause I like literally didn't brush it today cause I'm lazy, but it's, it's uh, uh, it's, it's like purple and blue and, uh, lavender and lavender. There you yeah. go. <laughs> it's a cool blend. I like the blend. I, I think the blend really helps, the, uh, Give it some depth. This is definitely the brightest blue I've ever had in my life. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> and it uh, comes off on my hands every time I shower. Oh, really? Ooh. Yeah, but it's, it's okay. It's expected. Mm. Your man just says it's like a peacock blue. Mm. Yeah. And okay. the, the next color I'm going to do is like a teal. Because it's, it's going to fade. It's going to fade. Yeah, That's just fade. how it is. Yeah, I've already mm. got my like my buying plan for my next colors. Because it's my hair. I'll just paint it however I want to. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, y'all aren't gonna tell me now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Annalisa, you also we have natural hair colors around here. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, I don't know. I've always thought about dyeing my hair, but you I've, could pull off some colors. Like they have this thing yeah. where it's like they don't do they don't bleach your roots, um, but the it. Well, I mean, they, they, she kind of did it with my hair, mm -hmm. where um, it's sort of faded down yeah. like it's a lighter bleach and they do it on purpose like that so that like people like me who aren't gonna go in every six weeks and get my hair re-bleached because it's actually really not that fun yeah um and you just do like little subtle highlights and stuff so it's just like a mm. kind of a shine hmm oh that's interesting yeah because yeah, that's the thing i worry about is is you know it's that's that's a lot of treat you know that you do a lot of treating on your hair and then you know it gets damaged and stuff right uh, how how do you feel about um about hair about dyeing your hair uh i'm 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 for it um in general but 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 also uh uh man everybody seems to make a bigger deal about it than it needs to be right yeah like 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 uh uh, your hair is a little nutty like like like, yeah. like 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 nobody freaks out when i wear a different hat mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i think i i I, I think what some of it is is like, it's not the, it's not about the hair. It's about a person who has dyed hair. I think is where that that comes. Yeah, that comes and from. I I don't know, I don't know what people think. People with dyed <laughs> hair are like, 
<laughs> but I did it for me. <laughs> yeah. I've never done it for any other purpose. Well, I did a cosplay of Zarya from Overwatch once, but other than that, like, I do it for me. I'm not doing it because I want attention. I mean, y'all see me, like, most of the time, it's, like, tied up in a knot and out of the way. So it's not like it's out there. So Yeah. But, but I, I think I think it's it's a heuristic that people get 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 have a reaction to, not necessarily the I, color of the follicles. I, I, I do think it's less bad now than it used to be. I, th I think oh. there was a time where oh, yeah. like you were making a statement about mm -hmm. yourself and now it's like, I don't know, I like now green it's, just, it's or fashion, whatever. it's personal yeah. preference. But I mean, I grew up in a school where I was constantly getting in trouble for using food coloring and uh, Kool-Aid <laughs> to dye oh, my hair. Yeah. Well, because these, these vivid colors didn't exist in the grocery store yet. Like, if you wanted something that wasn't a natural color, it was like dark red or uh, grackle black. And I, <laughs> I did grackle black, and I'm never doing it again. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, it didn't, it didn't suit me. So, so, sorry, you did say grack black. Like, grackle. Like, like grackle black. Grack. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, that's awesome. It, it would have been awesome on uh, somebody who didn't have pink undertones <laughs> mm. and, and freckles. Does, does, does Grackle Black come with like the pearlescent, like oily, slicky sort of texture to it too? Uh, like those little, those yes. Are... Oh, really? Yes, because <laughs> it's not normal hair dye. It's like, I mean, it felt like tar, honestly. <laughs> it made my hair like thick in a gross way. I mean, th this was back in like... 97, mm, mm. 96 maybe. <laughs> yeah. It was a while ago and things have changed, but it's definitely a, a different beast than a regular hair dye. <laughs> have you encountered a grackle like like just full on holding a cigar in its mouth? Only on t-shirts. Uh, no, no, no. A uh, real thing happened like last no. week. It was oh, amazing. Yeah. It was I, awesome. I, I, I believe yeah, 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 yeah. Because they, they have to walk different. They have to strut. <laughs> like they can't, they can't just walk. Uh, the the yeah. whole body has to undulate. Yeah, after strutting, I feel like that's my exit cue. So the, the, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, the grackle strut lets you know you're done. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, we got about uh, six minutes here, everybody. Uh, a couple of things. Uh, don't forget, join us in the Discord, discord.greatnight.tv. Thank you, Annalise. Uh, join us there, great, great, uh, great Night Discord. All sorts of good stuff there. Uh, we, you can post your birthday borners there. Uh, you can also, what are the other things you can do? You can, oh, if you're, if you're a patron here, uh, patreon.com slash great night or on cord killers or on weird things, uh, or if you're a Twitch subscriber, you can uh, get access to our special diamond lounge channel, exclusive, exclusive channel. Um, what else? The email, uh, uh, uh email is, uh, 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 uh great. <laughs> I don't know why I don't totally face it. I, Great Night Pod. That's it. It's Great Night Pod at gmail.com. Uh, yeah, sometimes we, we uh, throw up a channel in there for uh, for people to help out if they want to help contribute stuff to games. Um, I was talking a little bit about, um, uh, about about putting up this game today, just a little bit. Uh, El Condor Pass asks, Bryce, you watched all of the Evangelion movie, right? Yeah, you know, in fact, I was just talking to Brett about this before we turned on the stream, but, uh, but yeah, I <laughs> on, my, on my flight out... On my travel day out, which was about ten hours. Oh yeah, I got I downloaded the Eva movies. I'll I'll watch them. And I did, and I and I did watch all four of those movies. They're good. They're good. They're good. They're they're I think I think they're really good. I I like this the changes to the story, the, the way that they expanded it, um, and kind of changed different things. And the ending, the new ending, obviously. Um, I I think it's I think it's pretty good, but it's a it's a lot. You know, it's a lot of very deep. Um, uh, psychological issues, right? Uh, uh, maturing and coming of age, uh, responsibility and and uh, a sense of duty, all, all sorts of this stuff. And um, so that was a little heavy. It was a little heavy to be <laughs> to be to be barreling through uh, what was like eight what like eight or nine uh, consecutive hours of just mental <laughs> mental anguish alongside. Um, a dystopian, uh, like a dystopian story. Elkander Pasta says, I like Eva, but I just like that there's a wiki you have to read to understand it. I think that the new movies are better than, are, are better about that, but I like, I like a certain amount of them not explaining things, if only because that really matches a lot of 
the um, the conflict that Shinji has, where like if someone just like stopped and was nice to this kid for like five minutes and told him what was going on, he would like do the right thing. He surely would. Um, and yet, uh, uh, and yet that that is not uh, that's not what happens. But I, I I think it's I think it's cool. I think it's pretty cool. And and you know like think think like I was like well you know that's a twenty two what is it twenty two episode series turning it into four movies but that means that they cut out a lot of a lot of junk a lot of filler stuff which is nice. anyway but uh yeah so that was that was that and then, <laughs> then i i uh watched 30 rock on my way back i needed to balance it out <laughs> is that brett hey brett hey, hey. hello oh yes i need to log into the computer we got uh uh brett is manning the challenge today we use challenge, challenge. we use we use oh so, uh, we use the challenge website. Oh, did that do it? There we go. It did uh, we use the the challenge website to make the bracket and, and stuff. So it's actually really nice because he'll be able to manage the bracket and I'll be able to see it here. And I got all my stuff here. I've built a whole, I've I, I've built a whole thing on the back end. Well, I say, is there a way? I, maybe I can show you guys this while I'm working on this. <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, Brett, you can, uh, you can oh. take your mic. Yeah. Um, like yeah, let me show you a little Excuse bit me, here. Everybody, I'm just gonna. Oh, it's off. Just, uh, oh, okay. Wait, wait. I'm just, I'm oh, going to yeah. just do this bit. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do I need to sign for that? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so yeah, yeah, he's manning the bracket. Um, I want to show you, okay. I, I want to show you a little bit of, of a thing that I'm doing here. So, um, this is, this is my screen here for, uh, for, for the, for the upcoming segment here. And I've got a whole section here with just. The inf the, but uh, what, what's nice is I've got these um, uh, matchups. I've got these matchups here. These spoiler alert for the first couple of matchups. But I can I can go in, I can go in and change these once the first one. So after we do this one, whoever wins will uh, move down to like that, and then it, and, and it all works. It all just it all just works. Hashtag it all just works. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So that's what I was setting up during. Uh, uh, during uh, during the green room there. So everybody, thank you for joining us here uh, in the Great Night Pre-Show. Uh, let's see here. We're about a minute to the hour here, and we are doing our last checks here. Last look. And Anna Brian was in here earlier. We got we had our we had our audience guest who was who was around. Hello. Hey, you missed you missed it when there was a chair. There truly was a chair. Oh, how are you getting all fucking cocky? <laughs> uh, uh, hello. All right. Uh, righty, righty, righty. Well, thank you everybody for joining us here for the uh, great night. Almost said it. Almost said it. Almost said the thing. Almost said the wrong thing. <laughs> I keep catching my. I have to. I'm catching myself more saying the wrong thing or about to say the wrong thing uh, than the correct thing, which is the name of the show, Great Night. Alrighty. Well, I think we're gonna do. All right. Let's do last checks here. Brian, you good? Yo, Justin, Brett, howdy, Annalisa. All righty. Is our audience member still in here? Okay, well, he'll find his way in here. And Jomo, you looking good? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, Brett, I am going to, I'm going to count you. Yeah, I'm going to count you into the drum roll. All right, here we go.